What's up guys? Quick video. I'm probably going to post this one on both the channels, but uh, as many of you guys know, we're planning our move to Idaho from uh, Deep South Texas. And uh, as far as the move goes, it was going to cost us a lot of money to rent a U-Haul. Uh, U-Hauls to go from South Texas all the way to Idaho. It's going to cost about $2,200 plus gas, which would be hundreds of dollars in a, a, a decent sized U-Haul to drive that far. So we decided to go this route instead. We, uh, we bought a trailer. It is a 16 foot trailer. It's got two 3,500 pound axles. So it'll hold up to 7,000 pounds, which of course includes the weight of the trailer itself. Um, we're gonna be hooking up to the bourbon here, uh, which can haul well over 8,000 pounds. Um, so uh, it should be pretty good to go. We are gonna pare down some more stuff. Obviously this will not hold as much stuff as a U-Haul, but one thing I'm gonna be doing, and I'll, I'll do some videos on this, uh, is I'm gonna be doing some side and front panels on it. Uh, it did come with the ramp, which was awesome. Uh, a lot of times you find these things, they don't come with the ramp, so that's a, that's a big hassle that I don't have to worry about coming up with some way to enclose off the rear of it. Um, but uh, you know, I'm gonna do some uh, plywood panels on the side with a, just a real simple frame so that it comes up about four feet on each side and then uh, along the front here. So it'll be somewhat enclosed for our stuff. And then I'll put some, um, some probably some uh, hooks bolted in up at the top so that I can strap like a tarp to the top and secure it down. So that way, you know, going through any weather or anything like that on the drive up there, it'll be, be pretty good to go. Had to pick up a few things for it. It actually came with the spare tire, which was cool. Brand new spare tire, brand new rim. Um, had to pick up a connector to go to the, uh, to hook into the Suburban and make sure your lights and everything work and it's all good to go there. Got me a, a steel cable here to just kind of strap it down. I do live close to Mexico. Um, and it is not a stretch to believe that somebody might try and pull in my driveway and uh, hook up to the trailer and try to drive off with it. So I uh, uh, got that uh, locked up and then also I got a lock up there at the front as well. Um, so uh, it's pretty secure. Paid $1,500 for it. Brand new. Um, and I guess depending on where you live, that could be good, that could be bad. Here in Texas, that's pretty much the going rate for a 16-foot double axle trailer like this, about 1500 bucks. A lot of these things are made in Mexico and in and around Texas, so they're not too expensive here. I actually looked around up north in the Idaho area, and trailers like this sell for between $2,500 to $3,000. Um, so, you know, worst case scenario, we get up there, I've only paid 1500 bucks for this one, um, I can flip it and uh, probably at least get my money back out of it, if not uh, make a little bit of a profit on it when I get up there. I guess there's just not a lot of people actually making these up there, they probably ship them up there, so cost is a little bit more than they would be down here in Texas. So, yeah, so um, this is my new quote unquote toy. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing some uh, modifications to it and I'll do some videos on that when I get it finished up, but yeah. Uh, there you go. I guess the uh, worst case scenario we get up there, we decide to keep it. Uh, hell, uh, I watch enough HGTV and DIY network, right? I can just turn this into a little tiny home, right? There you go. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. There's the new, uh, there's the new toy. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.